Hello everyone. Welcome to the sunny south. We're looking at a 1968 Mustang GT CS. California special baby. This is an unrestored original Mustang with a history that couldn't have been written any better if uh, well if a mystery writer did it. Even Alfred Hitchcock. It's lime gold is the color. It's essentially stock, and as I say, it is unrestored. The car has 46,000 actual miles on it. Uh, it was purchased by a mother and son duo in Pasadena, California, uh, early on in the production, well, pretty early on, uh, and I'll tell you why I suggest that here in a minute. But shortly after they bought this car, Senior, dad, the dad of the group, was killed in Chicago in an industrial baking accident. Now, imagine what that must have looked like. Some say his death was a little more sinister and that perhaps the mob was involved with it. So as it happens, mom and son took this car, left California, and moved to uh, Carson City, Nevada, where they stayed for the rest of their born days in seclusion. Quite the hermits they were. The neighbors hardly knew them. They only had one car in the family, this was it. They hardly ever took it anywhere except to the grocery store. Otherwise, they lived in a very low-key, modest ranch house with this car locked in the garage and boards over the windows of the house. They were that paranoid from the rumors of uh, the father's demise. Neither had any conspicuous job that the neighbors could tell. And uh, this car was driven just very, very rarely, as you might imagine. So what we have here is a California special. It seems that the uh, car dealers in California were responsible for 20% of the total of total national Mustang sales when the car was first introduced during the first few years. So they decided they were so special that they should have a special car of their own. So they contact our friend Iacocca and struck up a deal for the California special, which as you probably know was made not on the same assembly line necessarily, but certainly in the same shop as the Shelby car. Shelby was now part of Ford. So many of these are Shelby design components uh, and some are exclusive to the uh, California Special. Take the brake ducts, for instance. They were purely decorative on the California Special, although they had a mesh grill in them to make them look real, but apparently, Walter Jr., owner of this car, had an engineering background. As I say, he never seemed to work uh, to anyone's knowledge, but he was a trained engineer. So he did a few tweaks to this car, including making these, these uh, brake ducts absolutely functional. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a, about a three inch ducting that goes into the uh, inside and directs air to the, to the back brakes. Now, I don't know how much good it was going to do to throw that little bit of air onto a, basically a sealed drum brake, but nevertheless, they are functional. You'll notice also the Cobra Jet hood scoop. This was not part of the California Special program. Uh, they were typically flat hooded cars, but again, I guess Walter Jr. had his hand in this and ordered one of these. It appears that he may have installed it himself. It is bolted on, and it is in fact made functional. Someone cut a hole in the hood and uh, made it perfectly functional. Of course, the California Special had these locking hood uh, pins as well. Blacked out grill. The original, well, the early production, I don't mean to say original, but the original production cars had uh, Marshall driving lights in the grill here. Uh, apparently, California outlawed them as being too efficient, too bright, I suppose. So they were replaced with a Lucas unit, which is more of a fog light. I can see a yellow bulb in there. I don't know if you can see it from where you're sitting. But these are Lucas lights. Also a good brand. Very stable. You know, they don't rattle or, or shake when you're rolling down the highway. This is the original tag that this car came with right here. Uh, I, I notice there's no date sticker. I guess that's maybe rotted away. But that, that is the original tag. Out back they've got a, uh, the new owners have a uh, Contempt well, 68 Georgia tag, which is where this car now lives. 
but you can see it's quite quite a nice car a little pinstriping is gone or fading or trying to fade uh, the paint is in not bad condition it's it's never been painted windshield I don't know if this is new or not but if it's not it's just immaculate condition the glue holding that mirror up there looks old uh, let's take a look inside here very nice condition a uh, little tear there in the seat but quite nice you can see the the roof liner is in, still in good shape back seats as always back seats always seem to be in great shape in old cars don't they but it's in pretty nice condition the gauges look good everything seems to work it's a it's a 302 two barrel with a uh, c3 transmission and they all came that way apparently you could get the california special in with almost any engine ford made but you can only get it in a coupe ironically since it's a california special where the sun shines all the time so uh it's a pretty nice car the the, the owner nowadays bought this car number one she always wanted to have a mustang even since she was a little girl she sh shares with me uh, and so she was looking around and then when she heard about this car she couldn't resist now when the mom passed away junior lived in the house by himself still with the with the windows boarded up still basically a, a, a hermit no one really knew him very well someone saw him at the grocery store once in this car of course in um, 1999 the mom passed away in 2013 uh, Walter jr. passed away sadly he wasn't his body wasn't discovered for a whole month he had no relatives no friends nobody knew these folks no one knew he had died so the neighbors became concerned since they were seeing these folks even or seeing Walter even less than they normally did so the county came out and discovered the poor Walter uh, in the house alone they found a little bit of money they found a few guns they found this car in the garage and next to the car they found are you ready for this seven million dollars in gold coins in boxes cleaning up against this car now no one knows how the how the family accumulated these unless they just did it as a hobby and you know were frugal and somehow accumulated seven million dollars worth now that's based on the weight of the gold. Many of these coins were minted back in the 1800s. Many of them were min minted overseas. Uh, according to some experts, a number of these coins are uh, quite valuable, even beyond their weight in gold. So the total tally for this bounty could be, who knows, 10, 15 million dollars. So this car has spent 45 years locked up in a garage, basically, surrounded by gold. Pretty good work if you can get it. Uh, let's start this up now here and see what you think. Come on, get in. Okay, we're searching for the keys. And the problem with the cold weather is that you have so many pockets in your jackets you can't remember where everything is. But we found it. Hold on. Now the muffler, or the exhaust system, was pretty much rusted away on this car even in the dry heat as they say of Nevada so they had to have it replaced and they did it they, they you know they replaced they replicated the old exhaust system with the exception of the mufflers and uh, those got flow masters uh, the new owners loves the sound she wishes them wishes they were just a bit louder her husband wishes they were just a bit quieter but it is her car after all here goes let that speak for itself come out here a minute I wish you could smell that exhaust it smells like good gas Wasn't that fun? 
Now, I've loosened the hood pin so we could more readily get under here and take a look around as well. Okay, here's the uh, functional hood scoop opening here. Someone took the liberty or the pleasure of putting this neat little Shelby Cobra decal right up there. Perfectly symmetrical in that circle too, by the way. You can see it's uh, never been touched under here. These red shocks make me think there are conies under there. I, I can't prove that. Um, looks like a new master cylinder lid at least <laughs> that's all it does that the old master cylinder looks original uh, but as you can see um, not much has been done under here it happens to have an aluminum intake manifold on it edelbrock from what i understand but as you can see everything looks pretty tidy he's got a uh, mark 10 ignition box on this which of course is not standard uh, and again that's a throwback to uh, walter jr's engineering slant i guess you might say power steering power brakes now this strut bar i, I would call it you, you might call it a strut bar of course we don't have struts here but this engine brace looks fer fairly sturdy um and i believe this I, this must have been put in by walter himself since i've seen no pictures of these in any other california specials i've looked at so it's pretty tidy underneath, runs strong. The folks take it out on the mean streets of the, the big city here often. Now this light also, I think, is one of Walter's specialties. He's got a couple of these in the trunk. I've, I didn't see these in any other photos of California specials, uh, but it looks like a, a homemade job, but still pretty functional. So that's it. That's the, the green machine with the golden friends worth seven million dollars and up uh, i hope you enjoy the car wish i could take you for a ride in it um, but i'm glad you had a chance to come by and, walk and look it over with me so thanks again adios